After the momentous success of the Chandrayaan-3 mission, the Indian Space Research Organization is gearing up for its next mission. After achieving a soft landing near the South Pole of the Moon, the next destination for India's space agency is the Sun. Here's what India's next ambitious mission is all about. Aditya L1 is slated to be India's first mission to study the Sun. The spacecraft shall be placed into a halo orbit around the Lagrange Point 1 in the solar system. This point in space is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. A satellite placed in the halo orbit around the L1 point is important to study the Sun. Now, the spacecraft will be able to study the Sun without any eclipses from this point. This will provide a greater advantage of observing solar activities and its effect on space weather in real time. The spacecraft carries seven payloads to observe the layers of the Sun. The observations will be conducted using electromagnetic particle and magnetic field de detectors. Now here's how Aditya L1 is going to study the Sun from space. The spacecraft will study the dynamics of the upper solar atmosphere. It will study partially ionized plasma. It will observe the particle dynamics from the sun and also the heating mechanism of the moon. It will record the temperature, the velocity and the density of coronal loops. Magnetic sensors will observe field measurements around the sun. Aditya L1 will also identify sequences of processes which can lead to eruptions such as solar flares. Now to know more, we on senior correspondent spoke to A. Rajarajan, who is the director of India's spaceport, Satish Dhawan Space Center. Listen in. We're joined by Rajarajan, sir. He's the director of India's spaceport, Satish Dhawan Space Center. Sir, 40 days ago, we started Chandrayaan. Mission accomplished. Next is Aditya. Tell us about the preparations for India's first solar mission. Yeah, and the, uh, the preparations at uh, Satish Dhawan Space Center is going on very well for Aditya L1. The PSLV C57 uh, is going on in all aspects and the vehicle is being getting assembled and uh, Aditya's final checks, everything is going on very well, there is no issue. And if everything goes through in the first week of September, definitely we will have a launch for Aditya L1 C57. So two years there was a COVID break and now we're back with a bang. This is going to be the busiest couple of years in the history of India's spaceport? Yes, no doubt. And we, we have learned a lot from COVID and how to go about with the pandemic situation, how to do it in a very optimized and a, in a professional and a efficient manner. And that's what we are seeing. And as I was telling you long back also, that we are able to do various types of launches months out of months. That's all because of the preparation that we have to do. Yes, there was a pandemic. We, it, is, it is for us to do how to tackle that and do it, because many people are going to come to the spaceport in an island, in a remote place. But notwithstanding that, how do we do and how do we motivate the people to do it in a very efficient manner and that's what the results are we are seeing. And I think we will go to have a lot of uh, programs as uh, our Honorable Prime Minister has already uh, that we, it, it gives a motivation for us to go ahead with the Aditya, Gaganyan and many more in, in the scientific ways to do it. I think we will get a very good. We have to so this ongoing financial year, please give us a ballpark how many launches can we expect? Ballpark. Around three to four launches, definitely we can expect. That's what I think because Gaganyan experiments are going to be carried out, and as well as we have PSLV launch, and past probably everything goes well, and we will have one GSLV launch. Also. Fantastic, sir. thank you so much. Thank you. Sir. That was Rajarajan sir telling us that uh, multiple launches lay ahead for India in the coming months. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, we on World is One.